Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball 8-box Jumbo Edition. We just did a Super Jumbo a second ago. This one's an 8-box Jumbo, full case. Pick your team number 12, which sold out before 10. And then I think 11 we did last night. Anyway, 10 is still available, and I think we posted 13 on the site as well. Let me actually just double check. Yeah, break 12 we're doing right now. Break 10 has four teams left, and break 13 has 13 teams left. And we did break 11 yesterday. So that video should already be up. A very big thank you to all of these wonderful people right here for getting into the action on a Friday night. Thanks for getting in there with us. John Samuelson, Last Spot Mojo, Marlins. And there's everybody else. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We appreciate it. As you saw in the item description, no paper ships except for these four players right here. Heston for Baltimore, Zach for Colorado, Robert for San Diego, and Spencer Torkelson, obviously the number one overall pick for Detroit. All chrome ships, though. It's heavy. So let's pop this baby open. And on the top camera, we'll have Sean in a, in a moment. He'll be helping us out here. Come here. You have a knife? So I'm going to pass some boxes over to Mr. Sean. And I'm going to, you can see all those boxes on camera right there. I'm going to open up one myself. So Super Jumbo has five. Jumbo has three. What's going on here? Can you break off the... Can I do that? Oh! Box hopper! Knife work. There you go. I know. I've learned from the, some of the best. That box topper could be autographed. Or are they always autographed through no. a box topper? No. no. We, we oh, you, that was, that was a non-auto. Okay, so the one I hit was a rare Max Meyer box topper. That right. It's cool. All right, good luck. Um, you can watch it right now, Joaquin. You can go to our list of videos on youtube.com slash Jaspi's Case Breaks, and it's uploaded. Unless I didn't upload it. That might be your problem. Yep, it's uploaded. Yeah, we upload all of our breaks almost immediately after it happens onto our YouTube channel. So it's in the video list there. David, can I... You double check the team. You purchased the Marlins along with the Blue Jays and Mariners. You said you don't want me to separate them, right? No, don't say. Just, just, just rip them open and stack them. This is break twelve, David Lewis. You have. You do have Mar. Why do you have? Marlins, Mariners, Blue Jays. Did I copy the wrong list? No, I put you in for Dodgers. Oh, come on, Joe. No, I gave you the one. That's the one? Hang on. So David has Marlins, Mariners, Blue Jays. No, no, that's the one you had. I have you for Mariners and Blue Jays, but what happened with... So who has the Dodgers then? Oh dear. No, Chris Gerard has the Dodgers. So he had Dodgers, Cardinals, Reds. Dodgers, Cardinals, Reds. Braves. I have him for that, but does he not have the Angels? Did I screw up the Angels then? Come on, Joe. John Samuelson got the Angels. Was that last bought Mojo then? So I know he bought the last team. And he got the M's in ten, which I which I have. What happened there? 
plate. Just losing my mind. Good eye, David Lewis. Thank you very much, man. I think we're on track here. I shifted a name up and I was putting names in there, so. Take two. Here's the correct list right here. Boom. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. John Tamson got the Angels last spot mojo. Chris had the Dodgers. I accidentally put him in that spot. David Lewis has the Marlins and the Mariners and the Blue Jays. That we got right the first time. Let's kind of mix things up a little bit in that area right there. All right, there you go. Now that's the correct list. And EA got the Brewers, right? Yep, and EA got the Brewers number 12, so good. Disaster averted. What? That's the first one I noticed today. I need to, I need to get one of those, like, candles. Centinella candles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Isn't that a mosquito or a gnat? Or both? I think it's a fly. Or a fly? Could we just get a zapper? Could get a zapper. As long as you clean it up. See, that's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Cause it'll it'll just end up being boss somebody, man, like Team Dad will end up cleaning that out. Somebody told me to go through uh, the. I told him I was like, I was like the cricket's under uh, under the fridge. I was like, I can't reach it. Like, move the fridge and clean the coils while you're back there. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Okay. So here's one of the guys that are going to one of the guys' paper that's going to ship. And our first autograph out of the gate is Holden Powell. Holden Powell going to Chen, G. Gia Chen, with the Washington Nationals. There you go. So three autographs a box, and we'll keep track of those there. See you, Mike. See you, Mike. There's Torkelson, paper. He's kind of a big deal. That'll be for Chris Gerard, who picked up the Tigers straight up. And here's a Chrome Torkelson as well. We'll keep track of those two. Robert Hassel is another guy that we're pulling paper for. Andrew Vaughn, Sky Blue. Our next autograph is Blue Wave, 13 out of 150, Jack Blomgren, which someone was explaining to me is it's a Swedish last name, Blom meaning flower or bloom, blooming flower, something like that, unless that guy was just lying to me. Be making me look like a fool. I, I I guess I wouldn't know. This player's weekend jersey. Right. Could be. Blooming flower. 
Uh, there's Jeremiah Jackson to 499 paper. Walt, was it Walter? Were you telling me that? Flower branch, Blum flower, Gren branch, flower branch. That's his player's weekend jersey. Is that's what uh, Sean said? I think that's a good idea. I pay attention to you guys, folks. There's uh, Justin Lang to 250 purple chrome for the Padres. That'll be for Mark the set. little stack right here Jack we break until however until Sean gets tired and which goes I, home we still haven't found that time yet. which is maybe four or five in the morning this morning I left at six six I rushed out of here at six there's Saul Garza 39 out of 75 so yeah you'll go on uh we have a few late night nights a week so it's, this is the third and final late night night of the week so take advantage of it ladies and gentlemen and it's Sean's Friday, so he gets to catch up on sleep. So you can keep him up as long as you want to. Garza goes to the Royals. That's for Sue Min. And most most other nights, we, we close things down around 9 o'clock Pacific. Most other nights. 9 or 10 o'clock Pacific. Paper Torkelson. Bob Wessel, what's going on? Of this That's a pretty good, yeah. I, I, I was pretty happy with it. Best value signing there was. I mean, he was like six, almost six men of the year, right? Uh, or was six men of the year? I think he was, he was either last year or previous year. Yeah, I mean. Of the year, but yeah. uh, Dylan goes to the Tigers as well for Chris. Yeah, we usually start around 1 o'clock Pacific. And we break well into the early hours on the uh, on the West Coast. There is some. There is a chance you could you could fall asleep and then wake up and would be finishing up the break by the time you get up in the morning. There's Zach Deloche. So I keep buying, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. How how late Sean goes is not up to him. It's up to you. I think our th that was our third autograph, by the way, the Garza Black Chrome. And any Torkelson paper or anything? Any other guys? No. the box topper I'm not sure I don't think I saw any other super jumbo in the back there's Robert Hassel nice that's 15 out of 99 there you go that's what he's all about in case you're wondering so what's the big deal about that guy it's that Exactly how we like it. Here's a box, or half a box. Uh, that one has a printing plate in it. Here's half a box, and Sean says there's a printing plate in it. I wonder if it's an autograph printing plate. I don't know. It looked like it was at the front of the chrome. So ah, maybe, okay. Maybe not, but there's another half a box. There's another half a box. Got a couple boxes stacked up on here, and away we go. Is he 
orange, I see red, I see gold. Whoa, orange, red, gold? There's an orange in one of those stacks right there. There's Caden uh, Polkovich, sky blue, and there's C.J. Abrams, number 250 for the Friars. That's Mark Bissett with the San Diego Padres. And we'll, uh, obviously all those will be sleeved and top-loaded before they go out. We have more Super Jumbo case in the back, right? Uh, I'll check after this. Thank you. Yeah, and if there is, I'll just post them. I'm pretty sure they are. I can do Enough to at least post another break. Thanks. Robert Hassel. More red? Or no, that's another orange. Oh, another orange. Okay. I was going to be like... But there's red here. There's red, gold. There's an orange. You can see the red on the edge right there. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. All right, we've got Nick Gonzalez, 186 out of 250, going out to Travis Glasser and the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Buckos. First round pick, seventh overall pick. Let's put that guy there so we can tra keep track of the autos in this box, and that's another box right there. I don't remember black ever being an option for the auto. Number down to 75, but I really like it. The black borders are really cool. I, I agree with that. That must be a recent thing. I feel like I don't remember that either. Right? I, like, there was, I don't remember there being a 75. An out of 75. They, Wasn't, didn't they have an out of 75, but it was like a canary yellow color? That or was, is that Bowman baseball? That was Bowman, and it was yellow. Yeah, yeah. And that was, I, I don't remember if they had it in chrome. It was only paper. Mm. But, um, yeah. I don't know. All the parallels blur into my head. I like it a lot. But yeah, I think the black borders do look sharp. And then the sparkle autos, the 71 now. Sparkle autos look really good. The black always trips me up because in Panini, it's usually one of one. Well, they, they have a one of one black in here. It's the black oh, do wave. they? Yeah. I see. The black wave one of one. Last year at Black's was brand new. Did they have black before that to 75? I feel like it's a newer parallel or are we crazy? You go Miguel Amaya, <laughs> no, no Torkelsons in your sleeves. Miguel Amaya to 150 EA with the Cubs. And the autograph is for the Rockies. It's Chris McMahon, 005 out of 150. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you. Rockies, Jack with the Rocks. There is more. All right. So you're in luck, Brent, and everybody else. I'm going to post another Super Jumbo right now. What about your Paris Campbell pick? Stephen Funk? Super Jumbo, where are you? And actually, that next Super Jumbo break that I'm posting right now, because we did four, number four earlier, number five will be from a fresh case, half case from a fresh case. So that's break five. It's just a regular random team break, so it's a 30 spotter. So 30 spots, break five, skew number five. Click and save. 
So Brent and everybody else who's watching live right now, if uh, if you're into that super jumbo, then it should be loading up shortly on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Brent, yeah, what's everyone's favorite parallel colors? Brent likes the green. Oh, you don't like the green, but blue's the best. I always like it when it when the parallel matches the team. That, that's that's some of my favorites. So if like if there was like an orange auto of like Heston, right? I think that would be pretty cool. You know, yeah, it would be I twenty five as well. But like purple for the Rockies and like Diamondbacks, blue for the blue teams. I guess there's no green green teams. Oh, A's, I guess. Yeah, A's in green. Who? Right. Oh, yeah, Robert Possens. The plate, folks, is non not autographed. There's Zach Veen right there. And the plate is... is oh, man. What? P-F-A-A-D-T. Brandon Fat? 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 Uh, Diamondbacks, right? Diamondbacks, yeah. Brandon Fat. I'm gonna go with that. Like a what? Like a from Caribbean I don't remember that. No, I don't actually. There's uh, there's. Advison Coffee. That'll be for EA and the White Sox. No. That was last night only. That's not that is not rolled over. There's a paper Torkelson. And a gold paper, Clayton Beater. Not a seeker, not a chaser, but a beater. Chris with the Dodgers. Paper torque. Oh wait, hold on. Who got the who who got the Diamondbacks again? Fought. That's Mark Bissett with the Diamondbacks. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Jack, if you read the uh, Frequently Asked Questions section that I linked to you earlier, that'll give you all the information on when stuff ships and shipping stuff and whatnot. Another paper, Torkelson. There's em Emerson Hancock for the M's. And we've got Bryce Bonin out of 250, purple chrome. For the um, for the Reds, that'll be for Chris. Another Spencer Torkelson paper for the Tigers, that'll be for Chris as well. All right, that's why we have the frequently asked questions section, Jack. If you go to the bottom left-hand corner of jazbeescasebreaks.com, I guess the bottom of the page if you're on a mobile device, you'll see a frequently asked questions section, and I would highly encourage you to read that, especially since, like you said, you're new here. That's why we have it for you. You know what I think? I think Neil is 48.50. All right. There's Jordan Westberg. That's a good point. Yeah, during the holiday season, the shipping can be backed up in a lot of areas in the country, so... Just keep that in mind. Refractor autograph for the O's. That'll be for Aaron. And obviously, longer breaks like this, you know, take a little extra time to sort and ship out. Although, actually, no, this doesn't. This actually ships out pretty quickly. Because we take out the paper already. So it helps save time on the shipping. All right, so Orioles, uh, Aaron F., with you'll be getting all of those Hestons and you just got that Orioles autograph right here as well. 
physical. Uh, he, he brings the, the contact to you. He looks for it. And if he likes it, bump, and then he can get his shot off. But uh, if you're not ready to play hard every play against Marshall, he, he'll, he'll eat you up. He's a puzzle player, and uh, he plays every play. So this is one of his last. All right, we'll break here. THP is getting some burn. Five Chrome Torkel. Is that our first Chrome Torkelson? Might be. I know, well, his his value was in that Bowman first and in that Bowman jump uh the Bowman baseball break we did last night. That's where all of his first stuff was. That's where the value is for him. For this it's about all about the twenty twenty draft class. There's CJ Abrams, green to ninety nine, and we got Matthew Dyer with the black chrome to seventy five. For the Metropolitans, Jack with the Mets. And CJ Abrams goes to Mark and the Padres. And we've got Alec Thomas, orange paper to 25. That'll be for Mark Bissett. Just got that printing plate a little bit earlier, too. Is that, is that something you pulled from us, Darksiders? It's pretty nice. One of our personals. There's Justin Foscu. Foscu. 104 out of 150. Oh, an LCS buy. There you go. Support the LCS. I hear he's pretty good. First round pick, for 14th overall. Rangers. That is going to be for Mark. And we've got Bobby Miller. I think he's a late first round pick. Purple paper to 250. It's 59, yeah, 59 out of 250. 69 out of 250. Nice. Dodgers. Paper going to Chris. So give me a minute here to put all this stuff away, and we'll keep going through some more boxes here. Here's a box. Here's a box. And that's that's those are half boxes, so that makes a box. Here's another box. Mega box right here. Big thanks to Sean for pack stacking all of these. Makes this break go by a little bit faster, folks. All right, here's another two boxes right here. Another three autographs. Another three. Another six in this group. Yeah. 
I wonder what the what the actual pronunciation of these people are. I feel like it's not it's not really is it really worth learning their names until until they're major leaguers? They're just meet until they're major leaguers, right? That's what we'll call them. Until they make it to the show. Until then. All right, there's Max Meyer to 150 for the fish. That's for Jack. Or uh, David, that is. David Lewis. Cole Henry with the Nats for Chen. Like, let's, let's wait till he makes it. I mean, Cole Henry's an easy name, but... All right, there's Zach Veen, purple paper to 250. Um, purple paper, majesty above the fruited plain. Zach going to Jack. I like when the purple matches the team colors. I think that looks really sharp. So fat is pronounced fat? 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 I think that's how we pronounce it. But yeah, that that kind of that threw me off. All right, we got a lot going on here. We got Austin Wells purple paper to 250. That's for Anthony and the Yankees. We got Heston for the O's. Bit of a dent ding here in the bottom corner. Sorry about that. There should be some more Hestons in there. For Aaron, and we've got David Calabrese, 44 out of 99. I think we do have some Shimmer Wave autographs or parallels in, in Jumbo, right? In Draft, yeah. Green Parallel, autograph for John Samus in the Halos, last spot mojo. There's a Chrome Torkelson here. Another one for Chris Gerard and the T Grays. It's been a minute or two since we've seen his autograph or even some some a parallel. I mean if Torkelson be, can become you know like three quarters of like as good as Miguel Cabrera, maybe as Miggy, that'd be huge. There's Milan Tolentino, sky blue, and there's Marco Luciano, 100 out of 250, purple chrome for the Giants. Mark. Jack with the rocks. There's Paper Torkelson. This always f tricks me a little bit because it's kind of the same image. Come on, Tops. Darksider saying, I think the Indians were trying to trade with the Blue Jays to get Lourdes Gurriel. Yeah, has there been any big baseball news in the last couple days? I feel like some. Dave oh yeah, Dombrowski, GM, new GM of the Phillies. 
Yeah, you Yeah, that sounds like a guy that's tearing down the Phillies. Well, that means you're not... Ooh, Spencer Torkelson, blue wave to 150. Well, there it is. There's color shimmer in draft. Darksiders. And I was mentioning, hey, I feel like we're kind of due for a Torkelson autograph. I hadn't seen one in a while. There you go, out of 150. Somewhat ironically... I've, I haven't pulled a base Torkelson autograph. Both of the ones I've pulled were parallels. I think the first one I pulled was purple chrome to 250. And then now we've got the blue shimmer right here, or wave, or whatever you want to call it, to 150. There you go, Chris Gerard. Thanks for grabbing the tiger straight up. Fortune favors the bold. Scared money don't make money. And again, with stuff like stuff like draft, probably is a good idea to get stuff like that graded, and then you stick it in a drawer for a couple of years or so, and then just keep an eye on when he's supposed to be called up. In fact, if I mean, if you really want to get the fullest value out of it, maybe you just hold on to it for almost for what his entire career. If you believe that he's the real deal. And keeping in mind that the first time he's probably called up, he's probably going to be... I mean, you want him to start off hot, but remember, Aaron Judge played a month of September and everyone thought he was garbage and they were the Yankees fans saying, trade him in the offseason. You, you, you remember that. I don't know if Yankees fans would admit it. We'll do a recap at the end, too. And that was the year before he played his first full season. So if you can kind of grind... I wonder how many... Wow. Think about this, Sean Jaspi. Can you imagine how many people dumped Aaron Judge cards? That, like, when he had a when he got called up in, like, August or September and he just was garbage? Yeah. People are probably dumping Joe Adele right now. Forgetting that like every baseball organ America and fan graphs and MLB is all saying that he's a what top 10 top 20 prospect easily Alika Williams Tampa Bay Rays. That's for John Samuelson It's our first auto out of the second box. That's on the table right here But yeah, imagine all the people who dumped like Aaron judge autos too early and then next year he comes around and just destroys Becomes one of the hottest players in the product that year Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's Pete Crow arm. That's absolutely true. With baseball, you kind of have to be prepared. You kind of have to be prepared to, especially if you're buying into draft. There are some obviously like Torkelson. and there are guys that you can flip pretty quickly and get you know and make a tidy profit. But most of these guys, you're just kind of sticking in a. You're kind of sticking in a drawer marked 2020 draft <laughs> and then seeing when these guys start to come up. And then you dig those out. And you might be surprised at how some of these players, how much their firsts are going for. Because what happens when, when a rookie always blows up? Everyone's, most people are just late. They're just like, hey, who has any Bowman first of this guy? You know, and by then the price is outrageous and you're never adding that person to your PC huh? unless you want to overpay for it. This is where you start with these future stars. I mean, obviously, some of them are going to be busts. You know, some top players may be busts. Some crappy players right now may end up being the biggest names out of this set. So it's just kind of a set it and forget it. It's more of a futures market here. Juan Soto, same thing. This kid comes out of nowhere and just rakes. You know, his, his Bowman firsts, Juan Soto, I mean, like, 
I don't know. People probably like, who is this guy? <laughs> I don't think he was super highly touted. I think he just kind of showed up and he just started raking. I was like, oh, I guess we're keeping him up. There's Freddy Zamora. A lot of times with a lot of these players, you get like a whole off season's worth of hype on these guys. You know, and then they get all hyped up and then you finally see them in action. But I feel like Soto kind of came out of nowhere. Did a ooh, Cunha sort of came out of nowhere? I mean, unless you're fans of that specific team. There's uh, Alaric Soler to 250, purple paper. A rumor. Who's who, who's reporting this rumor before I say it out loud, Darksiders? Is it just some kid on Twitter with no check mark, Or is it someone actually... Someone actually worth... Discussing his or her opinion. <laughs> yeah, it better be someone like that. All right, we should be expecting one more autograph out of this stack. I don't know who that is. Fuzzy on... Can anyone give a second on this guy? Is this guy worth talking about, or he's just some dude? It's just I it might as well just be me starting that rumor at that point, unless he's plugged in with Philadelphia sports. I mean, this time of year it's so difficult because there, there, anyone can just be making up anything, just speculating. Torkelson, Paper, Tigres, oh, was he talking about the video quality? Ed Howard, EA, Cubs, 91 out of 99, there it is, one of the Cubs' big prospects, 91 out of 99, Ed Howard, green parallel for EA. Eric with Ed. Nice. No worries, EA. Making up for that super jumbo case. Making up for those random teams. The pick your team seems to be working out a little bit better. Out of 25, Hunter Green for the Reds. And a Torkelson Chrome. Chris Gerard with a Torkelson Chrome. I'm telling you, just take a stack of these. Just grade all of them. Keep the tens. Sell the rest. And, and hopefully those tens end up being a huge, a huge investment by the time he gets called up. Victor, what's up? And that's what the uh, that's that's what the Tigers are building a pretty decent team if you think about it. They got they got hopefully their number one ace in Casey Mize. There's Jordan Wogu, sky blue for EA. And then they got their hitter in uh, they got their hitter in Spencer Torkelson who I think is out of college, so he'll probably be called up a little bit sooner rather than later. And yeah, they still have like guys like Riley Green, so they've got a little bit of a, a young core coming up the ranks. And I've said this before, I don't think the Tigers, they've paid Verlander before, they've paid uh, Miguel Cabrera before, and I think when they're ready, I mean, I don't know if they're a team that could throw money all over the place, but I think when they're ready, they can throw a big chunk of money. Uh, Brent, yes, you have, this is Pick Your Team 12. Uh, this is Pick Your Team 12, and you do have the tw twins in this one. Oh, yeah, Death Rage. Rock Death Rage is also on the Tigers. I definitely want to see him called up. To see that name off across the back of a jersey. All right, so here's another box. Half a box, half a box. 
Here's another half box. And another half box right here to make two full boxes. Right, Rebel? Death and Rage better have some heavy metal song as his walk-up music. Or does he go oppo that and just plays like the Carpenters? What if his walk-up music like, Why do birds suddenly appear? Now batting. Every time that you're near Brock, Death Rage. Just like me, they long to be. Here's Jordan Westberg to 250 for the Orioles. Close to you. What's that? Someone walked up to Sexy Sax Man? I don't know why that cracks me up. That guy cracks me up a lot. I think I want to pick up the sax just to play that. It's like, Joe, is that all you can play? Yep. You've learned nothing else on the saxophone, no? That's it. I feel like I'm doing awesome. Well, I, I did spend many years of my life playing the clarinet through high school, so that learning the saxophone is not that hard of a transition. Although I feel like my apartment complex may not appreciate that. 216 out of 250. Diamondbacks mark the set. Could bang on the door. It's the cops and they're like, sir, are you playing Careless Whispers by... Yeah, the whole, the whole block can hear it. Can you not... Uh, careless Whispers. It was Josh Reddick, says Rebel, that walked up to that song. John Sammonson, you had to go to a concert with your mom, with, go with your mom to a Kenny G concert in the late 80s. And how did, how did, let's talk about it, John. How did that make you feel? Have you been scarred for life since then? Has the soprano sax been ruined for you? I think that's his main weapon of choice, the soprano sax. No. I, uh, when I was a child, my, uh, my parents took me to, what was my first earliest concert memory, aside from classical music, was, um, this, the fans are the best, though. Right. Did they actually, did he actually hire the guy to be out there? No. Okay, so you just put careless yeah. whispers on the. That's that's good walk up music. You feel you feel sad and ashamed. Jack, when do when during the course of this break, I pulled that Torkelson. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You don't feel bad going to see James Taylor solid after, with your dad after his date bailed on him. Why, d does she hate good singer-songwriters, I guess? Stupid date. All right, next half box, second half of this box. I think the my earliest non-classical music concert memory, there's Heston to 150 blue, Orioles, Aaron, would probably be, I think Peter, Paul, and Mary. Two thirty-eight out of four ninety-nine refractor autograph, Tanner Burns. 
So the second autograph of that box, Cleveland. That'll be for Wu Jin Choi. There's Chris McMahon to 250, purple paper. No, I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. I should have known better when to be the fan. <laughs> I don't know the words of the song, obviously. Who did that metal version of that song? That cover of that song? Yeah. I think someone did a metal version of that song. It was Marilyn Manson? No. Papa Roach? No. Seether. There you go. Yeah, it was, it was Seether. It's, it's not a bad version. All right. Billy Joel was your first concert, says John Samson. That's a good first concert. Yeah, it's not bad. There's Caden Holkovich going to the M's. That'll be for David Lewis and the Seattle Mariners. EA, what about you? Michael Jackson in the mid-80s at uh, at Neyland Stadium. Where's, where's Neyland Stadium? Nice Polkovich for the M's. There's Justin Lang to 150. Blue paper. Uh, University of Tennessee Stadium. Nice. All right. Again, I'll do a recap at the end. We got Carter Baumler, Sparkle. 148,000 people. Man. I can imagine that once all this COVID stuff is finally behind us, concert industry, I feel like, is going to be like, thank God. There'll be a lot of people going out to shows. I know, isn't that crazy? Frankly, it probably hurts the, the, the mid-sized bands the most, you know. There's Zach Daniels for the Strohs. 35 out of 50 gold shimmer for Josh Lucas and the Astros. <laughs> yeah, it was only six. I, I, bar I barely remember the... Uh, I barely remember the uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary show. So I'm going to leave that out there. I think it was at the Hollywood Bowl, though, here in L.A. There's Zach Veen. For the Rocks, that'll be for Jack. Here's the one 
Memphis, December to Remember Champion. We get 0% financing on all new 2020 and 2021 Lexus models. Experience a new with the Lexus Shira. What's some of the uh, best concerts? And not not that you're first, but some of the best concerts that you've been to. Glass Animals and Santa Bowl. Glass Animals and Santa Barbara Bowl. That's that's a nice venue. I I saw one of, one of the best shows I've seen was probably at the Santa Barbara Bowl. It was the last show of the Radiohead in Rainbows tour that finished in Santa Barbara at the Santa Barbara Bowl. That's a great spot to see a show. Yeah, yeah, it's like just tucked away in that. Right, it's all it's all right there in the in this neighborhood. It's kind of like going to. It's kind of like going to the Greek, except not as bougie. You know what I mean? Have you you've been to the Greek, right? And you know how you like wind up that hill and it's just like two million dollar, three million dollar homes up and down that hill. <laughs> Santa Barbara is much much more quaint. Going to the Santa Barbara Bowl is really nice. Yeah, Radiohead's Radiohead's a good show, and in Rainbows, I remember me personally, the 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 experimental stuff was okay, but in Rainbows kind of felt like a return to, to uh, to like old like rock and roll Radiohead. So it was kind of a nice blend to see all of that. It's a good record too. I've seen McCartney a couple times. I'm a huge Beatles fan, so seeing McCartney, big deal for me. There's Heston Kirk's. Yeah, this is kind of a big deal right here. Gold. No ink, but 17 out of 50. Just straight up, straight gold for uh, Aaron and the O's. And we got Clayton Beater for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Chris Gerard and my Dodgers. Mitch saw garbage at the Santa Barbara Bowl. Nice. I've seen garbage a couple of times. That's a that's a good show. Yeah, old Shirley Manson. Great front woman. Great voice. Good tunes. Ooh, there's the red that uh, Sean was talking about behind Ryan Jansen. Red paper. Michael Bush. Two out of five red paper for Chris Gerard and my Dodgers, the world champions. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Darksiders, favorite show. Rob Zombie. Weirdest show I've ever been to. Reading about his life through the stage performance and movies all makes sense. Yeah, he's a pretty multi-talented dude. Look at this. We got another Santa Barbara Bowl mention here. John Samuelson saw 311 and Ziggy Marley at the Santa Barbara Bowl. It's a great venue. It's such a good venue. Um, <laughs> so we we lost we lost so much marijuana that day at the 311 Ziggy Marley show. So much marijuana was lost that day. <laughs> Torkels and Chrome. You were in Alaska? John, what were you doing in Alaska? And he, he went all the way down, traveled from Alaska all the way down to Santa Barbara to see 311 and Ziggy Marley. A lot of tons of marijuana was lost that day. I'm just about to ask, is there enough of those that I should probably start going through those right now? 20. It's not that bad. There's Nick Swinney. You had two. Of, I was gonna say, were you, were you with with wifey at the time? Two of your kids were born in Alaska, so they have Alaska on their birth certificates. If I was a John Samuelson kid birther and demanded the birth certificates, it would say Alaska on there. I don't know if I've ever known anyone who was born in Alaska, but I guess it happens a lot. What were you doing in Alaska? 
You were in Vegas too, yeah. Oh, so you got married in? Did you meet your wife in Vegas? And then moved to Alaska. Was this a? Oh, a red auto. Coming up. That's good. It's good adventure. There it is. It's Bryce Elder. Red Chrome, two out of five for Chris Chris Gerard again and the Braves. Oh, as a teaching. Th okay, okay. You guys taught the same high school, all right? Or the same school. All right, there you go. There's Bryce Elder. The elders can also always teach you something, Chris Gerard. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's a nice. That's a nice box. This is all the same box. And we got an Ed Howard paper to four ninety nine for EA and the Cubbies. All right, again, we'll do a recap after that final box back there. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. Another good concert I went to... Um, I saw you two in Vegas uh, shortly after 9-11. So that was a pretty emotional, emotional show. Here's Spencer Torkelson, Tigers paper for Chris Gerard. And we've got some orange. We've got 9 out of 25, Milan Tolentino. Cleveland, that goes to Wujin Choi. Che Wujin. And the autograph is Shane Drohan. 127 out of 499. That is for EA and the Red Sox. All right, so you go EA, refractor autograph for you for the Sox. John Samuelson saw you two in Vegas when Bono got stuck in the lemon at a uh, and oh at Sam Boyd. That that was the was that Zuropa tour? No, maybe that was, that was the Zoo TV tour. There's Bryce Jarvis to four ninety nine Diamondbacks Mark Bissett. Did Zoo TV have the lemon, or was it was it that Discotech album? Rage is a band that I wanted to see at the Cella, but COVID canceled Coachella and Rage. I'm sure they would have done a couple local shows around here too that I could have seen, but. All right, there's Trey Cruz. For the Tigers, Chris Gerard. Jack was going to an Eagles concert in Denver. Then it got postponed. I know, stupid COVID. Eagles are a band that I would like to see. I think it was Pop Mart. It must it was the one after, the one with the the Staring at the Sun album. I think that's where they had the lemon. And then people said you two jump the shark. That's actually kind of an underrated album, I thought. Out of 250, Tanner Burns, Purple Paper. Going to Wujin. Mm. 
One of these nights. One of these crazy. CJ Abrams, Sky Blue. You know, people have tried to figure out where that corner was in Winslow, Arizona. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in Winslow, Arizona. Oh, that's pretty cool. You live by Sam Boyd team. You listen to the, them rehearse outside in the parking lot for a few days. Yeah, they also, I, I didn't see you two this time, the, the last time around, but that was another massive tour where they had the big... Uh, the big claw thing, right? They had the claw stage. I think that was in the middle of the stadium. And I had a, I have a friend. She used to work in that trucking industry at the time, coordinating all all these big tours of these trucks. And I'm pretty sure she was saying that there were that they had like 18 or 20 big rigs or something like that to move all that sort of stuff. And they had two of those things. Those big claws, I think if you Google it, you'll be able to see the last stadium tour that you two did. These big claw, I think, was it claw? Something like that. Some wacky stage they built in the middle of the stadium. And so they would they would play, they would just advance it, right? So they, so while one was being set up at one venue, there'd be another group setting up another venue. They would tear this one down and then they'd be at the third venue. So they would just leapfrog over each other. It's wild. That's the other thing. Um, I know we have a we have a big rig driver here. I know we have maybe a, maybe a couple, but that's that's another industry that got hit hard trucking, because there was like always like the you know you need like this group of drivers to do like the big Taylor Swift tour, and she has like you know fifteen big rigs that have to go around all the time, and of course autom automated driving. I think. It's Kind of hurting that industry too, but and we got Jeff uh, Hankinson, sixty-one out of seventy-five. I, I almost pronounce it like the uh, like that club in Las Vegas, John Samuelson. I was like, is that Jeff Hakasan? No, it's Hankinson. Not like the club in Vegas. 61 out of 75. That'll be for the Rays. John Samuelson. You think Amazon makes up for Taylor Swift? What is she, what is she doing with Amazon? There's Torkelson paper. You think she gets like touring money from Amazon? I think she makes a bolo. She was supposed to open SoFi here in Los Angeles, the new state, the new football stadium here. There's Paper Torkelson in the summer before they did all the football stuff. That stupid COVID. So after a little Googling, John Salmon says the, the YouTube claws are now at Salt Lake Aquarium as an exhibit. Like, like what? Is it like a natural coral reef or something like that? Oh, 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 I see. The trucking industry is okay without... It's true, yeah. Amazon sales have been through the roof. So they got to move stuff around the country. Well, fine. Then then automated self-driving trucks. That That's the biggest threat to the trucking industry or to truckers.
All right, almost done. John says, Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. I would have maybe sunk it into some part of the ocean and make a natural coral reef or something like that. But I guess they're kind of doing that in the aquarium. That's good job, you two. They just didn't put it into storage. A lot of times those just end up in storage. And then uh, that's it. All right, folks. Uh, that was 8-Box, Pick Your Team Number 12, Jumbo Edition. That was 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball. And here's what we have. A lot of paper, some color, which is good. Some real nice color right here to 5. Torkels and Papers and Chromes, Michael Bush paper. Another Dodgers autograph. Uh, the Kirkstad Gold, Gold Wave, Purple, Blue, Ed Howard Green, that was nice, Torkelson Chrome, Plate for the Diamondbacks, I think it felt a little, you can see like a little indent right here on the plate, but they did use that plate to print this set, so be some indentations there and of course in the middle of the break we pulled that nice blue wave spencer sorry for the cardboard dust right here blue wave spencer torkelson to 150 for chris gerard and the tigers very big hit right there and there you have it i'm joe for jaspyscasebreaks.com thanks for watching thanks for breaking with me i will see you next time for the next break Bye bye